In this video, let's discuss the concept of utility. For instance, when we see this figure, we know that market basket A or any other market basket on indifference curve U3 gives more satisfaction than any market basket on U2 such as B. Likewise, we know that the market baskets on U2 are preferred to those on U1. So, in the case of indifference curves, we simply described the consumer preferences graphically, building on the assumption that consumers can rank alternatives. In this case, the consumer provided relative rankings of market baskets. Now, suppose we assign numerical values to individual baskets. Utility is nothing but a numerical score representing the satisfaction that a consumer gets from a given market basket. For example, if buying a jeans makes you more happier than buying a shirt, then we say that the jeans gives you more utility than the shirt. Now, let's have a look at the utility functions. A utility function is a formula that assigns a level of utility to each market basket. For example, a person's utility function for food and clothing is UFC is equal to F plus 2C. In that case, what will be the utility of a market basket consisting of 8 units of food and 3 units of clothing? Substituting the same in the equation of utility, we can see that it generates a utility of 8 plus 2 into 3 which is 14. What about a market basket containing 6 units of food and 4 units of clothing? This will be 6 plus 2 into 4 which is 14. Here we can see that the utility derived from both the baskets is similar which is 14. So the person will be indifferent between both the baskets. So we assign utility in such a way that if market basket A is preferred to basket B then the number will be higher for A than for B. The utility function UFC is equal to FC tells us that the level of satisfaction obtained from consuming F units of food and C units of clothing is the product of F and C. Have a look at this figure where these indifference curves shows the utility associated with this function. First, let's choose a particular market basket A which contains 5 units of clothing and 5 units of food. This market basket generates a utility U1 of 25 because UFC is equal to F into C which is 5 into 5 over here. Here, the units of clothing and units of food is 5. If we take point B, it should generate a utility of 25 as it lies on the same indifference curve. The same is the case with point D. At point D, UFC is equal to 2.5 into 10 which equals 25 where units of foot is 2.5 and units of clothing is 10. At point B, UFC is equal to 10 into 2.5 which is 25 where units of foot is 10 and units of clothing is 2.5. The indifference curve is also known as isoutility curve as all the points in the indifference curve have the same level of utility or satisfaction, such as the points A, D and B. The higher indifference curve U2 contains all market baskets for which F into C is equal to 50 and the highest indifference curve U3 represents all market baskets for which F into C is equal to 100. Suppose we change the utility function to UFC is equal to 4FC. Now the level of utility will increase by 4 times as the earlier utility function which was UFC is equal to FC. Now the level of utility will increase by 4 times as the earlier utility function which was UFC is equal to FC. So, the utility of indifference curve U1 will be 4 into 25 which is 100 since the utility function changed to 4FC. And 
the utility of u2 will be 4 into 50 which is 200. The utility of u3 will be 100 into 4 which is 400. From here, it is understood that the utility function is simply a way of ranking different market baskets and the magnitude of the utility difference between any two market baskets does not really tell us anything. This is so because we have no means of objectively measuring a person's satisfaction or level of well-being from the consumption of a market basket. We know only that U3 is better than U2 and U2 is better than U1. We do not, however, know by how much one is preferred to the other. With this, we will move on to the ordinal utility function. A utility function that generates a ranking of market baskets is called an ordinal utility function. However, it does not indicate by how much one is preferred to another. The ordinal utility function generates a ranking of market baskets in order of most to least preferred. We saw in the earlier example that any market basket on U3 such as A is preferred to any on U2 such as B. However, the amount by which A is preferred to B and B to D is not revealed by the indifference map. The numerical values given in the utility functions are arbitrary as we saw in the previous examples and varies from individual to individual and hence cannot be used for interpersonal comparisons. This is because it is just a function that determines the satisfaction of a commodity used by an individual which is supported by a numeric value. These numerical values can also be doubled or tripled based on various utility functions as we saw earlier by only preserving their order. The ordinal utility theory claims that it is only meaningful to ask which option is better than the other but it is meaningless to ask how much better it is or how good it is. A utility function that describes by how much one market basket is preferred to another is called a cardinal utility function. Here. The size of the utility difference between the two bundles of goods is supposed to have some sort of significance. So, unlike ordinal utility functions, a cardinal utility function attaches to market baskets numerical values that cannot arbitrarily be doubled or tripled because this will alter the differences between the values of various market baskets. Here, the utility derived from the various commodities cannot be measured objectively. That is, the utilities cannot be doubled or tripled. Hence, the utility is subjective and a specific utility is assigned to each of the market baskets. The objective of economist is to understand consumer behavior. So, all that matters is knowing how consumers rank different baskets and it is difficult to compute the utility of various market baskets. Therefore, we usually work only with ordinal utility functions and not cardinal utility functions. I hope these concepts are clear. Thank you.